Tim Love, Coleraine Township, PIO, Public Information Officer. At uh, tonight, uh, it's uh, uh, it's going to be a rough night. It's going to be a long night. At, at 1121, we received the dispatch to the 9900 block of Capstan. And uh, there, we uh, come to find out there was multiple shootings, multiple victims. Right now, I don't have a firm number, but right now I have a number of seven and uh, with one fatality. Uh, do not have a description yet, a good description yet, of those that did the shooting, what we're looking for. Uh, we're securing the scenes and trying to take care of those that were shot right now. All of them have been taken to multiple uh, hospitals, and in fact, quite a few hospitals uh, as, as needed. So they are all being taken care of at this time. We're trying to find out what happened, and uh, I'm going to let you know that as soon as possible. It seems like a lot of kids were involved. It does seem that way. As far as uh, what I can tell you and what I will tell you is depends on, you know, how, how bad the situation is, how many kids uh, were involved with them, if, uh, if parents or, you know, people in charge know what's happened and been contacted. Uh, all that is just, it's just really, it's, it's all being handled right now. And are you looking for a suspect? We will be, <laughs> I guarantee you that. Uh, I think we need to nail that down. I think we need to, to find out exactly where or what. We may know, uh, but that will depend on uh, as soon as they get the information. I'm in contact with the chief. Chief promised me he's, going to call. he's on site. The police chief is on site, and he's promised he will call me about every 15, 20 minutes and try to keep me updated. And uh, I'll be able to pass on to you. And especially if we're going to be looking for someone, uh, any help that we can get with the media would be wonderful. And is this a situation where it's domestic or a home invasion? A good question. Good question. I am not sure. This this is a very uh, regular uh, street, and uh, this is on the edge of what we call Northbrook. And uh, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. You got to kind of wonder. There 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 are some things that happen in this community, but I I, I just can't imagine uh, children. To be honest with you. Uh, being involved in anything, I don't, I don't know what to tell you at this point. And I, you know, saw the house. I saw a lot of people hanging out outside. Was this, I mean, seven seems like a, a big number. Was this some sort of party that was going on? That these kids were at the house? Were they all related to each other? I don't know anything about that yet. Okay. I do not know the conditions. I don't know if there was a lot of people there. Obviously, you got to ask those questions because you, you, you know, they're on the table. Why, why were so many people in the house, what happened, what escalated, et cetera, et cetera, uh, and all that. I'm sure that they may even have something on there, but right now the primary thing is taking care of the victims, trying to make sure they're secure, they're being taken care of, people are notified, and then do the original, uh, just taking care of the scene, making sure any evidence doesn't get taken care of, and also immediately uh, getting a good account of what happened. And so we're go it was a shooting, there was one gun involved, multiple? Good questions. Okay. Um, the victims, were they all, is it all one family? Is it different? Good questions. I do not know that yet. I, I have not been informed. I haven't been told that yet. I don't know either. And then at this point, I know that you guys are in charge of it, but um, I saw another department out there helping. Yes, yeah, so we want to thank uh, North College Hill. Uh, North College Hill, Green Township, they all showed up. Uh, I think Amount of Healthy might have even showed up to help out. They responded when they when they heard how severe it was and the need. They've come to, to lend a hand a little bit and help support us, yes, most definitely. And you kind of alluded to the, this at the beginning. It'll be a, a long night. This is just kind of the tip of the iceberg in terms of the investment. Yeah, these are the, kind, these are the kind of nights you don't want to have. These are the kind of nights where, you know, you're... The, the homicide rate, uh, you know, you're hoping that you can, you can keep it down for the year. You're hoping you're going to have a good year. You're hoping that there won't be situations like this. These are the nights that you 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 look back on and you you, you regret that they ever happened. This will be one of those nights. And, and just to recap, eight shot, one dead. We don't have names. Right I don't before. have a confirmation on the number eight yet. I have okay. seven. Seven. Okay. I do not know if that includes the one that is shot, or if it's seven shot and one fatality. Okay. So that number to me is not nailed down yet. Okay. But anyway, you look at it, it's. You know, it's just, it's not, it's, the way you look at it, it's tragic. Um, as far as people transported to a medical facility, what would be the closest medical facility to transport? You would have, uh, you would have two. You would have Mercy Fairfield and you would have Mercy West would be the closest to be uh, transported to. Obviously, uh, the more severe ones, it's been our, pretty much our habit, our primary thing to go to university. 
dependent on the severity of the wounds in the situation. Thank you so much.